God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. This is all kind of shit's happening. Anyway. Okay. Second part of the swamp video. I'm sorry, I've said this so many times already. Even though this is the first time that you've seen it. Um first swamp video this is as we were heading out when we got to the camp when we finally got cell service we had our phones blowing up are y'all okay what's going on is everything all right less than a mile from our camp on the way to our camp there was some kind of boating accident. I don't know if it was an accident. The news only said that the boat started taking on water. The two people that were passengers in the boat had life preservers. They were injured, but they were okay. The person driving the boat did not have a life preserver. Did not make it. Um. After we got all these texts and calls, one of our friends met us out at the camp because he has a camp next to us, well, close to us. And uh, he said, you know, when he was launching a boat that the medevac helicopter was coming in waiting for him to bring the body out of the bayou. Um, this happened so many times a year and as far as I know boating regulations in the United States state that everybody in the boat should have a life preserver available like I said that's the states that I know I'm only familiar with the south honestly I'm the world's worst because I hate wearing a life preserver. When I get in the boat, I have on my bathing suit, I want to get some sun, so I don't like wearing it. But what I do is I'll take the life vest and I'll wrap it around my ankle or any kind of life preserver that, you know, I mean, because you have seat life preservers, um, you have vests, you know, there's there's so many different kinds. And you gotta watch what you get because I do like the Bass Pro. I don't know if Bass Pro makes it, but it it's completely flat, it it you know, it's six to your body good and everything, no puffiness, but it's got a CO two cartridge in it. And there's two different kinds. One, you pull the handle and it inflates. The second kind is, I would not recommend it because the minute that water hits the vest, it expands, it blows up. Um, the CO2 cartridge goes off. So if you happen to be riding in the boat, water splashes up on you, it's gonna blow up on you. The CO2 cartridges have to be replaced, obviously. Um, but like I said, the main thing is everybody in the boat should have a life preserver because you fall out, you hit a log, you're knocked out. Like I said, I wrap mine around my ankle to where at least it's floating and some part of me is floating. If I die, at least they find me, you know? Um, it is what it is out in the swamp. Dang it! Hold on, please. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to finish this before the light goes off and then I'll add the rest of the swamp stuff in there. Anyway, um, this happens all the time, every single year. So many people have to go through it. 
before anybody ever realizes, hey, maybe I should use my brain. Like, I drive on the right-hand side of the road, I should drive on the right-hand side of the bayou. Um, last year, some guy in a smaller boat got completely sideswiped and run completely over by another boat. Dude got decapitated. I mean, like, just when you're out on the water, use your brain. And that's what makes the rest of this video so ironic. Because what I'm about to show you showed up many years ago. Nobody knows who put it out there. Nobody knows who's maintaining it maintaining it I wish I could freaking English but it's been out there forever and it's there for a reason it's there to remind people so I'm done with my rant I'm done with my spiel and here's the rest of the video later Somebody put that statue of Mary up there a long time ago and it's been there forever. It's awesome. Protect the hunters and fishermen.